Welcome to Bloodbath and Beyond. Today we review another wolf cop. Dirtier, hairier. Written and directed by Lowell Dean, starring Leo Fafard, Yannick Basson, Amy Matissio, Serena Miller, and Jonathan Cherry. This movie is about an alcoholic werewolf cop, Lou Garou, who comes out of hiding to protect the citizens of Woodhaven when an evil businessman tries to take over by seducing everyone with great beer and a new hockey team. So what do we like? The concept of Wolf Cop is excellent because he's an alcoholic werewolf cop. Now, while we didn't review the first wolf cop, we did have an opportunity to see a screening of it years ago. We didn't love it, and the main reason was there wasn't enough of the wolf cop in the movie. And so we we're hoping in the sequel that we would have more of the wolf cop being in wolf form. And thankfully, we did get that. And he looks awesome. The makeup is very sweet. It's a full practical wolf cop suit, and he's just badass and funny. Yeah, he's quite vicious too. This film didn't shy away from any of its gore. You see the kills, and everything looks real. As real as it could look given the situations that are presented. I like that they use practical effects for most of the things, including puppets and like, the bad guy variation. They all had cool looks to them. I feel any movie that has the most ridiculous looking puppet that we review, that is a guaranteed like for me. Yeah, the aliens can't reproduce, so they come up with a formula to inject it into humans, and then they make babies that like pop out of their stomach alien style. And you're introduced to the weirdest puppet, which is Willie's growth? Like, whatever that... I think it's a dick with a mustache on it. As odd as that puppet was, it was kind of hilariously adorable to like see him <laughs> trying adorable to... <laughs> just something you want to grab and hug and kiss all over <laughs> willie's probably like one of the best parts of this series he's played by jonathan cherry who does an amazing job he's just like this typical canadian from like the north who loves drinking and hockey and he nails the role. Like, he is hands down the best actor in this film. I would say that Kat is a better actress. And Amy Maticio, who played Tina, she was also cool too because she was trying to maintain order in this movie. In a movie that you, like, can't, it can't be done. I did enjoy that Kevin Smith is in this movie. He's the mayor. He just loves Canada. And so he probably just wanted to be in this Canadian film. I'm hearing it's a giant fucking wolf cop. Are you hearing that? After watching the first one and seeing how much of a slow burn it felt like, this one was more upbeat. And I feel with a movie of this nature, it needs to be upbeat. And I had more fun watching this one because of how fast the movie was moving along. Now, what didn't we like? The humor in this movie is very childish. And while John loved the puppets, I fucking hated them. I appreciate people using puppets, but this was too much. This kind of felt like, with a name called Wolf Cop, it has to be over the top. And I feel like Lowell Dean took that information and critique and said, okay, you want it over the top? Well, I'm gonna make it over the top, almost spitefully, and made this, and it's just a disaster. This dick puppet with a mustache, as hilarious as it could look in one situation, it's a main part of the movie for a long time. I, for one, also didn't care so much for all the sexual innuendos. Yes, it's funny one or two times, but like every scene had a sexual innuendo in it. Actually, because behind me there was like a huge, bulbous, smooth shaft. Villain, what is this? that penetrated me. I know it sounds weird that we're calling something childish. Like, we fucking giggle about boobs in every goddamn movie. I know how ironic this is, but like, the comedy just seemed really low tier. I know this is also a weird thing to say. It felt very Canadian. They tried to play up the Canadian stereotype so much. I hate how Canadian TV always wants to talk like Canadians. I didn't like the sci-fi aspect of this film either. The first one used the occult, which I feel is more fitting for a werewolf movie. Like they were trying to mix so many things together. So you have this evil guy that's trying to get aliens involved for some reason. We did get like where cat sex. That her name is Cat, so I get it. Hilarious joke there, by the way. Is was that a fun scene? I, I think, feel confused by it. I think there's a certain community that would fucking love that. <laughs> now it's time for our final thoughts and ratings. Another Wolf Cop, well, I feel is slightly better than the original, is still a movie that I 
didn't really like. The Wolf Cop concept is cool, but they pushed it over the top, bringing in the sci-fi elements with like the aliens and all this shit. It was too much. I didn't like the humor. Definitely way too many sexual low-hanging fruit jokes. Uh, the Canadian humor isn't that funny. Um, and not because I'm like salty about being Canadian. Like I don't feel <laughs> insulted by it. I just, every single time there's a Canadian scene, we've heard these jokes and it's just tired humor. There are good elements of this movie and I think a lot of people would probably enjoy it if you liked the first Wolf Cop. So I'm gonna give this one and a half chicken milk stouts out of five. Slam a cool cock! The concept of a crime fighting werewolf who's always drunk does sound a lot of fun and this film was fun but when something just becomes so ridiculous that it's not that fun anymore that's kind of what this film was it's like they always tried to one-up themselves with their jokes and because of that you're just like shaking your head or slapping your palm on your face. However, I did enjoy all the characters and we do get some nice practical effects. I do think people should check it out because it is a fun time and if you're in a group setting, you could really have some fun with it, but it is very over the top. So with that being said, I'm gonna give this film two gift wrapped boxes of green jello out of five. As always, thank you for watching. Like this video and comment below with your thoughts on the film if you've seen it, if you haven't, and you do want to check it out, there are links in the description where you can find it. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe to the channel, stay updated with everything, bloodbath, and beyond.